Hey everyone, it's Cedric here. It's been raining all night and it's still raining at the moment. So there is a good amount of humidity in the air, in the ground and in the material as well. But I've been working hundreds of times in these conditions and I know that with a little bit of precaution, it's not a lot more difficult to make it happen. So today I thought I would go a little bit further and test myself and uh, soak my material in the water before I make my set. So let's make it happen. In these conditions, most of the tenders will not be as effective. Actually, most of them will be useless. By example, the birch bark will still produce a flame, but it's going to be much weaker and it's not likely uh, to catch an ember on fire. A few years ago, I found a solution for that. In these conditions, punk wood has to be by far my favorite tinder. The reason is, it is well protected deep inside the trunk. So let's take as much as we can of it. Make sure that your hands are dry before you harvest it. And it's crazy because even if it's slightly humid, it's still gonna catch an ember and make it bigger and bigger. I will be working with this piece of balsam fir because this is a species that works really good for me. And because that the other piece was not really big, I could not make my herdboard from it. I will use this tree for the herdboard and I will bring more than I need and you will understand why later. So I got my firewood ready, I got kindlings ready, and the area where my fire will be, I put some wet birch bark on the ground. It's not gonna create a big amount of flame, but it's gonna help for sure. Okay, now let's put this in the water. All right, it's soaking wet. What I do in these conditions is I remove all the external wood, which is wet, but the inside should not be really wet. Now the piece of wood I will be using for the spindle is not really big, so I cannot remove a lot of external wood, but I will still remove a few layers By doing this, it doesn't matter how much uh, the wood is wet. If it's been raining for two weeks, non-stop, it doesn't matter. Because the inside will be dry. My hands are wet, so I don't touch where the tip of the spindle is gonna be. Now the rain is coming back, but I don't mind. I finished the tip of my spindle. With this species, like in every conifers, I like to make big spindle. But if I was working with uh, most of the hardwood, I would make a smaller spindle. Now, my set is complete. I got my herdboard, I got my spindle, so I'm gonna put them in a safe place so they don't get wet anymore. You can put it in your backpack. If you got no backpack, you just take a lot of branch and put your set under. All right. In raining condition or very humid condition, the most difficult part is usually not to make an ember, but to catch your tinder bundle on fire from the wet tenders around. When I began to practice friction fire, I could be searching for hours before finding the good material in the good states, and it was not even always possible. So a few years ago, I came up with the idea to make my tinder bundle from feather sticks, and it works even better than I was expecting. This is going to be perfect. I 
I'm gonna make as much as I can like this. And uh, you will end up with this. What I'm gonna do when I get an ember, I will put punk wood in the middle so that my ember get bigger and bigger. If you got no punk wood, it will work even without it. That said, if you got no punk wood, you want to make uh, thinner uh, feather sticks that will catch easier on fire. I also like to make uh, feather sticks without sticks and uh, I will put these in the middle of all the sticks so that there is no empty space. There we go. It was really easy. So I got all my feather sticks and punk wood in the middle and the ember will go in the middle. My punk wood is really wet. Uh, a little more wet than what I would like to. My feather sticks are catching on fire. There we go. As we can see, the kindling takes a little more time uh, to catch on fire. This is why I got a bigger amount than what I usually do. Look at all this smoke, it's very humid. All right, so the reason why I've done this is really to show you that friction of fire is not a lot more difficult in very humid or raining condition. It doesn't matter if everything is soaking wet you can get it done. That's it. I said I wanted to test myself today so I've got a new hole ready and I'm gonna put this set in the water and try to make it happen. Alright, this time I have to say I got no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, I was very confident. I knew the other one was gonna work but this one is a big challenge. Um, I think what I'm gonna do first is apply a small downward pressure and try to dry the hole with a little bit of heat and uh, maybe that's gonna help.
Anyway, I think that what's gonna happen is very little dust will be produced at first. What I've just done is I've changed hole in the handling block to prevent uh, any additional friction, any un unnecessary friction. I'm gonna try to apply a little, a little bit more downward pressure and speed. Let's see what happened. So, there was an ember, but uh, it died. I'm not too surprised about it. So, what I'm doing right now is make the upside tip of the spindle sharp, because now it was pretty round. Just to make sure that I got no unnecessary friction. I feel that the tip and the hole is a little bit drier now, so yeah. I got one. Wow. Oh. Wow. I'm surprised by that. Oh. We can see that the dust is much more light in color. So less heat was produced because of the evaporation. <laughs> I can hardly believe that. Wow. Ah, uh, pretty cool, very, very cool. So we can really say that you can produce a number in any condition. So that's about it for my video. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope I change your mind about friction fire and humid condition. Uh, I have to say I'm surprised about the result, but uh, very happy about it. So, like every single fire I've done, I put my set in the fire because that's the only way you will learn. The most difficult part in friction fire is to find the wood in the good decomposition state. So, if you use the same set all the time, you won't learn. So, See you guys.